Welcome back to Yahoo Finance Live. In today's hot take, some pressure potentially mounting for Spotify after Joe Rogan, one of their podcast stars, takes some heat after uh, he tested positive for COVID-19. And Akiko, a lot of people taking issue with what he said about his treatment that was received after that, saying uh, in an Instagram post here that he had used Ivermectin, that horse tranquilizer drug, that the US uh, FDA, the FDA has come out and said, don't use it because it doesn't help in treating COVID-19. Uh, we've seen a lot of people talking about that, but now raising new questions about whether Spotify should be included in this discussion around tech giants needing to police the content on their platform. Yeah, in many ways, Zach, Spotify has uh, been able to escape the spotlight, if you will, around the content on their platform. Remember, Twitter, for example, banned pr uh, former President Trump after the insurrection back in January. And this raises new questions for Spotify, which is, uh, should you allow a podcast host to be able to push some of these theories that the FDA has said is clearly not uh, any kind of a solution for COVID-19. Now, if you back up a little bit, um, this is not something that Joe Rogan said on his podcast. After he announced that he had, in fact, been infected with COVID-19, he took to Instagram to talk about this deworming a drug. And you mentioned the FDA um, tweeting about it. Well, this was last month uh, because, um, you know, there were some he was sort of pushing that then the FDA put out a tweet saying, you're not a horse, you're not a cow, seriously, just stop it. And that's the tweet you just highlighted. But, you know, I would put the question to you, Zach, should Spotify be responsible for something that wasn't necessarily pushed on their platform? If we're talking specifically about yeah. Ivermectin, um, that's not something that Joe Rogan talked about, as I understand it, on no. the platform. No, it's not. But I mean, it comes in the context of what he said earlier, which was something that he did say on his podcast, which was about uh, younger Americans not necessarily needing to get vaccinated. It was something that we saw a lot of officials take issue with because the whole push at that point was to get vaccinated because the risks aren't necessarily for young people, but it was passing it on and we saw the data play out. So there are a lot of issues, maybe not necessarily around this one sole case, but when you put it in the context, it certainly would be problematic and certainly problematic for Spotify if now all of a sudden people are looking at the content on that platform too, given the fact that they paid Joe Rogan so much money. Uh, and probably, again, as we've talked about, it's not just a Facebook issue anymore. A lot of these platforms are gonna need to think about some hard questions here 